Hello and welcome to IGCSE Tube. Um, in this video, we will be uh, starting chapter number 14, Organic Chemistry, which is really one of the uh, most important chapters in the entire uh, syllabus. And one which is seen by many students as the most difficult, but hopefully in all all the videos I'll be doing on this chapter, you will come to realize that it's um, really easy and simple as long as you get it. Okay, so we will start off by a really simple definition, which is organic compounds. What are organic compounds? Organic compounds are compounds of carbon. I'm sorry, I meant the highlighter. Um, are compounds of carbon originated from living things. So the basic definition is, Organic compounds are compounds of carbon. That's the simple and basic definition. Organic compounds are classified into four main groups, or at least there are four main groups that we that is within the scope of our syllabus and that we will be discussing. The first is hydrocarbons, which are further classified into alkanes and alkenes. Uh, second is alcohol. The third is carboxylic acids. I'm sorry, there is a C missing here for some reason. Carboxylic acids. Um, and the fourth is polymer or like polymers. Um, so and polymers are further classified into uh, man-made. Um, uh, that is man-made or synthetic uh, polymers and natural polymers. Um, these four groups, we will discuss them in detail and in depth in this video and in the upcoming uh, videos. Okay, let's start with hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are basically compounds of carbon and hydrogen. As we said, organic compounds are compounds of carbon. So hydrocarbons, which are a subset of organic compounds, are compounds of carbon and hydrogen. That's why it has like the hydro, which comes like from hydrogen. So they're compounds of carbon and hydrogen. They're classified, as I said a minute ago, into alkanes and alkenes. We will start off this video by talking a bit about alkanes. Um, so the main source of alkanes is petroleum. That's the thing you have to keep in mind. I think they usually get it as an MCQ in paper one or the equivalent paper. So just keep that in mind that the main source is petroleum. Alkanes are uh, described or like classified as saturated hydrocarbons. What does that mean? Saturated means it has single bond between the atoms. So the carbon has all like four, uh, I'm sorry, I thought that was the pen. You know, that's always the case with me. Like I, I confuse between the pen and the highlighter. Anyways, so it has single bonds. So it will have like this all single there won't be any kind of like um, a double bond or anything like that no it will all be single um so the functional group is single bonding um again i will discuss in a minute what a functional group is but um but for now you have to know that the alkanes the functional group is single bonding that is single bonds between the atoms, between all the carbon atoms and the other atoms. Um, the general formula for, um, sorry, I'm getting back to the highlighter. The general formula for alkanes is CnH2n plus 2, where n is any number that has to be greater than or equal 1. So basically, a general formula is an empirical formula. What does an empirical formula mean? An empirical formula means a formula that has like symbols, which is like C and H, which reflects the elements, the constituent elements of the compound, and these subscripts, which is numbers to the right bottom of the uh, symbol, um, indicate the number of the atoms of that element. So let's say we have one carbon atom. Let's go back to the pen. If you have one carbon atom, uh, first off, you don't write one. One, you don't write it. You just, you know, it's assumed that is it is one. So H would be two times one plus two. So that will be CH4, okay? So the general formula 
uh, formula basically helps you to know how many hydrogen atoms will be um, in an alkane. So it is very useful. This we call it methane. This compound we call it methane. Uh, we will be talking about methane like in a separate video because there are many things that you need to know about this compound. It's a very useful compound. Um, many of you will be like, where does, you know, ane obviously is kind of like it reflects it's an alkane. Um, so many of you will be like, where did the methane or the meth come from this part? So let me go like switch to this, um, to this uh, slide. So as a student, I don't know about you guys, I didn't like professors or teachers that assumed that we know like particular information or have like background information. So I really like professors that, you know, kind of explained everything. Um, anyways, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. But I want to say is that in organic chemistry, we will be using the Greek prefixes for uh, the different compounds. So for one, it is mono, for two, it's di, for three, it's tri, for four, it's tetra, for five, it's penta, six is hexa, seven is hepta, eight is octa, nine is nona, and ten is deca, or I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, or like... I'm not sure if it's the perfect pronunciation, but anyways, you get me, guys. So, uh, actually, for the um, uh, the pen, okay. So for the um, okay, it's okay. It can be black. For the if the if you have like one carbon atom, okay, in organic compounds, um, usually in organic compounds they don't use mono; they use meth. That's and for example, if it's an alkane, so it will be methane. If it's like um, an alkene, it will be. Um, I don't think there is meth in the alkene because you need to have at least two carbon atoms. But anyways, you get the point. So it will be methane. Um, and for the two, it is eth, so it will be like ethane. And for the three, it's prop, so it is propane. And for the four, it will be butane. So, um, so you just need to know these. These are really, really useful. Um, I'm not saying you should memorize them now on the spot, but like with practice, you will already, you know, you will have them at the back of your mind. Anyways, let's go back to where we were. So we were talking about the Jenner formula and the Jenner formula for alkanes. You ha you need to have this memorized CN uh, H2N plus 2. It's a very, very simple kind of formula. And you need to know that N has to be greater than or equal 1. So alkanes form a series of compounds called homologous series, uh, which I will discuss in a minute. But uh, before I go to the next slide, I want to explain what a functional group is. Because we said here that the functional group of alkanes is single bonding. So functional group is basically an atom or a group of atoms responsible for the characteristic behavior of the class of compounds in which the group, which is like the functional group, occurs. In short, like that's a really long definition that you, you don't need to know word by word, but it means that we said alkanes, it's functional group or what makes it characteristic or what how you can identify or distinguish an alkane from other compounds is that it has single bonding between all the atoms. And so that is its functional group. Next is carbon. As you know from the periodic table, carbon um, has an atomic number of six. So when you split these electrons into the different orbits, the first orbit will take two electrons because that's the maximum number of electrons the first orbit can take. And the second orbit will take four electrons. Um, so we know that the second orbit can take up to eight electrons. So it has a space for four more electrons. I want you just to keep this in mind because we will be drawing um, the different compounds and you need to know that carbon can accommodate four bonds around it. Um, I know that I didn't do a video yet about the periodic uh, table chapter, but I hope that you at least have this basic knowledge of the different orbits and the number of electrons the different orbits can accommodate. 
Next and the last thing I will be discussing in this video because I think we went too long in this video and I want to keep them short is the characteristic properties of a homologous series. It's basically because we said alkanes form a homologous series. It's basically a series having the same functional group which we just discussed what a functional group is. The same general formula which we also discussed what the general formula is. It is an empirical formula with the symbols of the elements in, that are present in the compound and subscripts that indicates the number of atoms of each constituent element and also the series have same chemical properties which is mainly because they have the same functional group but they have different physical properties so i think i'm going to end you guys the video on this slide uh thank you very much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you like it and if you have any question please leave it in the comment section below thank you for all your positive comments and it's really what's keeping me um going and wanting to record uh, more videos for you good luck and see you in the next video